Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, um, this is just another daily vlog. I um, put, whoa, my nose is kinda itchy. I vlog um, once a week and then I put up two other fashion related videos on two other days. So a total of three videos every single week. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys like shopping. I've been wanting to go to this really cool store and the store I want to go to is like um it has a ton of home decor like home decor stuff that's like different like stuff that you guys have probably never seen before so so yeah I'm gonna take you guys there um I think that you guys will really like it um it has like a boho feel inside and there's just like a lot of different types of like um decor stuff that's like really unique um so if you guys are in, in illinois um you can shop it and i think they have like an online store too so you can shop that and then i'm going to go and look in a couple of other stores and see if i can find some stuff since i'm driving literally an hour out of town um i might as well go like to the h&m and stuff that's in the area and then i think um there's another little like boutique that i want to check out so i'm going to see if i can find some stuff there um but first i'm going to head over to starbucks because Coffee is the first priority of the day. Um, so yeah, let's get over there. Just one moment, please. Okay, take your time. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Can I have a... Um, Large chai tea. Yeah, did you want that hot or ice? Ice, please. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, I think that's all. Okay, I'll have your shuttle there. Just the all right, thank you. Maybe you don't know, I don't know. I don't really talk about it much, but I've been saving a lot. Um, by the way, this is freaking amazing. And the girl told me that I'm pretty, so like, day made. Um, but I like have been saving so much, like more than I've ever saved probably in my entire life. And y'all, every single day I'm this close, like this close to buying a Chanel bag like every single day I wake up and I'll like scroll and like look at their bags I'm just like oh my god every day there's also some Chanel shoes that um are like really not inexpensive but they're inexpensive for being Chanel shoes you know um they're roughly like 950 so yeah, I like get really close to buying those two every day, but um, I feel like for me, it's like hard to, not hard to save anymore, because I feel like I've kind of, I, I do a pretty good job of saving now, but it's hard for me to like see things that I've always wanted to like pick up that I haven't picked up and just like not get it. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if I'm the only one who like feels that way, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, God, it's so hard. Like, literally every day I wake up and I'm like, I could buy this Chanel bag like, right now and I would be so happy. But then I also feel like I'd have, like, huge buyer's regret. Like, I would be sad that I spent all my money on that and didn't wait. I did hear this rule, like, for saving that if you can't buy something three times, then you shouldn't buy it. And that's been actually a really good rule of thumb for me. I think I heard that from, um... God, I can't remember who it was. I have the worst memory, if you guys cannot tell. Um, but yeah, I heard that, and like that's been helpful for me. Cause like I still shop and stuff, like obviously I'm going shopping right now, um, but I only do it like very minimally um, because I have to make sure that I can buy something like multiple times. And I'll 
obviously if it's a small trip it's not like a big deal um but if it's like a designer item then it's like whoo i mean if you bought a chanel bag three times like you've got some coin so i don't know maybe i will get myself one one day maybe it won't there's these sneakers that i've just i've had my eye on so long i'll like pop a picture in here they're freaking cute they're so so cute and i keep telling myself like you can wear them in the fall you can wear them in the winter like they'll look good no matter what but then it's just like they're sneakers like they're gonna wear faster than a bag like why not just like keep that money and wait and save it for a bag the way my brain works I never buy it like I wanted the Balenciaga like really thick trainers for like probably a year before it like got super super trendy and like I still want them now um but like the trend is like over and I still love them I think they're so cute but I just cannot like make myself get them because I keep thinking like okay if I get these shoes and I wear them which I'm really hard on shoes I'm like if I wear them and then I end up like messing them them up. I will be so mad at myself. Um, so it's just, I just I'm like I can't I can't do it. <sighs> but I'll like pop a couple pictures of like some bags that I have like been just having my eye on. Um, I would love 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 to buy a white Chanel bag. I think like a white or like a beige would look really good for all my outfits. Black is also super classic. Um. Ooh, excuse me. So yeah, um, so many different options that I'm never gonna pull the trigger on. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get myself one. I don't know. Maybe at the end of the year. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it as like a Christmas gift to myself. I don't know. I feel like for my birthday gift to myself, because I usually like get myself something for my birthday, I didn't really do anything this year. I did like go shopping um, at American Eagle, which I think you guys will already seen that haul um but usually like for my birthday gift to myself it's like a bigger gift like usually like a designer piece or um something like that and I didn't really do that this year so like I'm kind of proud of myself for like you know not doing that huh all right anyway we're almost here so whenever we get there um I'll show you guys around the track. Stairs. This place is freaking incredible. I'm literally about to spend my entire life savings up here. Um, there's so much I want to show you guys in here because I know you guys are going to love pretty much everything that's in here. I wanted to start upstairs because I feel like the stuff upstairs is like, I don't know, I feel like you guys can get the vibe really easily by like just looking around upstairs. Um, upstairs, I think they have it decorated. You guys probably saw it, but it's decorated more like a bedroom style um you guys know my vibe is like the boho and modern and like i mean obviously like look behind me it's freaking amazing i who i literally want everything in here um they actually decorate like people's homes um 
and so like they're a smaller place here in illinois um and i feel like they're a little hidden gym which i like they remind me a lot of like arhas um and they have like a restoration hardware type vibe which i really really like some of these pieces i feel like will be really nice in me and brady's like forever home we just haven't like bought our forever home yet but like oh my god i'm just everything in here i need all of it um let me show you guys this light fixture that literally is stunning they have so many nice light fixtures like this one um and they actually have like this little area if you like find stuff that you like and want to like set out and kind of look at it um you can like set it out all here and try to get like an idea this is the other light fixture which i think is also beautiful i'm definitely going to go over here and look at some of these pillows i'm obsessed with everything um let me show you guys this um little lamp over here by this bed okay you guys this lamp right here could you guys not see this in our bedroom like let me get you guys a little bit closer like this is so stunning it literally looks like it's from freaking restoration hardware like i kid you not i just this whole vibe and then the bed like the bed just has such a nice vibe to it like this is what the lamp looks like up close i feel like it would look really nice in our bedroom we have gold um lamps right now but i feel like this would look even better than the gold ones that we have it's just more like boho feel oh i'm just i'm loving all of this i need all of it this other area over here has like more of their bedroom style i'm loving this couch and i feel like whenever we get like our forever home we'll definitely like trade out the one that we have for this one because we use the other one in our basement um there's just so much up here i feel like a freaking kid in a candy store like everything i want to bring home oh my god it just spies and pillows let me show you guys these guys you know i'm a pillow fanatic look at these <gasps> these are so pretty could you guys totally see these on our bed like oh my god oh my god oh my god are we in the guest room like with the yellow this is so cute everything in here i literally i literally almost feel like overwhelmed because there's so much stuff in here that i know i want to bring home but like i this is why like i need my own like personal like stylist for my house because i feel like i could never put this room together like this in my own house but like or maybe i could i feel like i would just never feel like it was finished yeah i feel like because i feel like our bedroom looks really nice and it's exactly how i want it to look but i still feel like it's not finished um so i feel like i'm gonna end up getting a lot more stuff for in there um the living room i definitely want to work on especially by like our television area it just like has a lot of stuff that like looks kind of like messy and i like it to look really like clean vibes you know so that's what i'm going for hopefully <laughs> we can find a couple things in here hopefully i don't end up spending my literal life savings in here there's so much so much stuff uh, okay, let me show you guys um, a couple more things upstairs and then I'll take you guys downstairs so you guys can see all the stuff that's down there. Downstairs is more of like a like browns, beige, like up here I feel like it has more of like a light and bright and airy feel. It's all like boho and modern but I feel like downstairs has like more um, like beige tones. Uh, all of these in here, I just I need all of them but what I'm really gravitating towards the most is this down here i feel like that would look so nice in our um like kitchen decoration just because it has that like boho feel like with the bowl because i think it's like a wood but it's like has the white on the outside oh, it just looks so nice literally everything in here i could take home though like this right here that's so stunning i just love how everything in here is very like unique um I feel like every piece like tells its own story, which I think is really cool. Oh my God, just all of this. This is really different, but it's also really cool. Oh, everything in here. I just literally could take it home. I just feel like all of this is totally my vibe. Okay, so then when you turn around this way, of course, I see this massive weighted blanket, guys. Look at this, this is so heavy. 
this feels like one of those um like security what are they called those blankets that are like supposed to be heavy that you like lay under for like security and like storms i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but this is so cute i could totally see this on our bed we have a blanket that's like on our bed um and i really like it and it kind of goes across the middle but it's not as nice as this one this one is just so stunning i mean can you see like when i pull on this it like leaves like a mark it's just like very soft and it looks literally like someone's grandmother like knit this and put it together oh i just love that all right so this is the downstairs i am definitely like 127 percent sure that i'm bringing home either this one or this one um they just look so real and they're like bendable and stuff like and it has such a really nice tone. You guys know that I kill my plants, so I definitely need one of these. And then these are just stunning. Um, but what I love the most probably in here are these light fixtures. These are beautiful. I don't know where they would go in my house, but I could totally see myself bringing them home. And then they also sell pompous grass. I know a lot of you guys have had trouble finding pompous grass. This is like a smaller one that they have, but they also have like a larger um pompous grass too i'm gonna grab the smaller one because you guys know i already have the larger one but oh my god like i need this i don't know if i'll bring this home but they have a ton of other like containers so i think i'm gonna look around a little bit to see if i can find one that would match with the pompous oh my god guys literally was just talking about pompous grass and here we are um this looks so good i love that container that it's in too and this is the back area this has like i think more like candles and like kitchen things so much good stuff this candle smells amazing i already smelled it it's a soy wax blend and it has like a lemony smell to it would make my kitchen smell amazing this is really nice i feel like everything in here has just such a nice boho vibe and this is like the kitcheny area so you can kind of get the idea of what it would look like if you were to bring home like all this stuff it would be so nice in your kitchen um and would add a lot of like different textures and stuff to it i could totally see myself bringing these home we have a space like by our um behind our couch that is like completely empty and i could totally see this taking up the space it might be a little too rustic but i still think that it's really nice oh there's just so much stuff in here that i love like literally everything like look at this all of these pieces are just so unique i love all of them okay so i walked back downstairs and i just want to show you guys what it looks like like right when you first walk in this is pretty much how it looks when you first walk in literally everything in here is like stuff that i would take home like i already know that this is coming home with me like the smaller version of it i feel like i'm gonna end up taking it into our living room maybe to put it like on our mantle and then um okay, i'll show you guys back here i'm definitely bringing this candle with me because you guys know that i have an obsession with candles and these like smell so good they have like a the soy wax blend oh my god it smells like clean fresh it has a lemony scent that is like it's different it definitely has that homemade like feel to it it's like really really strong too um and then there was one more thing that i grabbed i put it up front oh um pompous grass so you guys like know that pompous grass is really hard to find like pretty much anywhere so they have like larger pompous grass right here um it's obviously faux but i think that it's really nice to like put in your house we have some in our living room and i'll probably end up picking up some smaller ones um here i'll show you guys the smaller ones i was thinking about god i have to show you guys i literally feel like a kid in a candy store right now but i have to show you guys this mirror i wanted this mirror but it's sold out um this is what the mirror looks like like look at that guys and it's under 300 dollars. and look how heavy this is it's like it's so sturdy but it's already sold like and that's what i love about this place everything in here is so unique so that you know you're going to end up getting stuff that like no one else has but this is the pompous grass that i'm thinking of picking up it's really really pretty and it's like really 
I don't know, it looks real, but it's faux, obviously. So yeah, I'll do a little like haul whenever I get back in the car so you guys can see what I ended up picking up. But like literally, I've already stocked up a ton of stuff that's on the counter right now. And I'm gonna end up bringing it like all home. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like a literal kid in a candy store. So I ended up getting two bags. That's one and that's obviously a second one. I'll do like a whole haul whenever I get home so you guys can see what I ended up getting. Um, but like I just there's so much in there I could have gotten like I could have picked up way more than two bags like <laughs> I was like can you please just like like kick me out of the store like I was in there for like I swear two hours just shopping and shopping and looking and like I could have looked for probably two more hours there's so much stuff in there and it's so unique um so yeah anyway I'll do a little haul when I get home and then they also showed me there's like a second area just because I'm like nosy and I was like asking about how they like redo like people's homes and stuff because that's like super interesting to me because like Brady and I haven't picked out like our or purchased our forever home yet and so like I'm always loving like getting new ideas and stuff for like the future and they showed me they have like an entire like not warehouse but it's like a whole separate office space building with like just tons and tons of stuff that you can like pick out um it was overwhelming in a good way because there's so many options um but yeah i will like show you guys the stuff when i get home i'm like so happy right now with the stuff that i was able to pick out <laughs> just pulled up to the apple barn um i really need to pick up some more jam that's where i pretty much get almost all my jam because at least now i used to get it from like aldi but like this jam it just tastes so much better it's like homemade so good so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like this is the apple barn it's the cutest little place like you can see the little um sign up there like everything is like homegrown um and if it's not from here they like outsource it from like other farmers and stuff and they bring it here so you can buy everything like super fresh i always end up going in and buying more than i actually plan on getting um but yeah i always like to go in and like get a little snack and then take it out by the lake so i'll probably do that because um I don't know I just it's really nice to like get a little snack and then go over by the lake so I'll probably end up doing that and getting my snack and eating it over there um and then maybe I can show you guys what I ended up getting um in Louisa Jane whenever I'm by the lake um the lake is literally I can see it from here um you just go like pretty much it's like right in that brush right in there so it's so close so yeah we'll go inside pick up some jam get a snack probably get some other stuff um and then i'll show you guys what i picked up at loose to jane over by the lake this is the infamous jam i picked up this one but last time i got um one of the raspberry ones over here and they're so good let's not find it but they have tons of different oh this is the one i got last time it's really really good you guys should definitely try it for sure. This looks really good. Never tried it before, but I could totally see myself trying it for sure. nice out here oh my god so so nice okay I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting I kind of wish I had some sunglasses it's like it's it's bright <laughs> um, but I'll show you guys first what I got from Apple Barn so I can start munching on it so I got the strawberry jam which this jam 
like is so good. We got the triple berry jam last time. Um, so I'm really excited to taste the strawberry. I'm sure I'll like show you guys in stories or something. Um, they Everything comes in these cute little bags. Like I love this. It's just so like small town. And like they, uh, when I went in, they were like, hi, and I was like, yeah, hi, how are you? And they're like, good, good, good. And they're like, oh, you wore those shoes again. And like, I didn't even realize it, but like they remembered that I wore these shoes last time. And they were like, yeah, like, you know, I are they comfortable? Like, I remember that you wore them last time. You said that you really loved them. And like, I just, I love that so freaking much. Like, ooh, that's a little bit better. The cloud kind of covered the sun. Um, and the second thing that I got is this apple um, crisp mix, <laughs> which this is pretty much an easy way for me to make an apple crisp without actually having to really know how to make one. Um, you just have to add apples and that's literally it. Um, it just said just add fresh apples. So I think that's pretty much like it. Um, yeah, you have to put in the mix. Oh, you do have to put butter in here, but I mean like literally butter and apples, like that's it. Like I can look like I made a homemade apple crisp. I'll take that. And then I got <laughs> this fudge. So it comes in this little box like this, which I think is just on brand. Um, and then the fudge that I got, I got three different kinds. I was gonna try them with you guys. Um, the first kind that I got is peanut butter. Now the peanut butter was one that I knew I was gonna go in and get initially. Like that's just, I already knew that. Um, I'll show you guys these bags after I get done, like, eat, sh like tasting this because I like I'm so ready to eat it. Um, but this is what the fudge looks like. I got peanut butter, and then what I didn't expect to get was um, they have chocolate fudge, which I got that, and then they also have a cookie dough fudge. So this one's a peanut butter, this one's a cookie dough, and then that one right there is a chocolate. Oh no, the sun's coming back. <laughs> oh. Um, so I'm gonna try them. I already tried the cookie dough in the store because I didn't want to try it if I hadn't, I didn't want to buy it if I hadn't tried it because sometimes it, you know, just doesn't taste good. Um, not from like there, but like from other places, some fudge tastes just don't sit with me right. So try the peanut butter. Let's break off a piece. It's literally like melting in my hand. I love that. Ugh. Mm. It literally tastes like I'm eating like regular peanut butter. That's just like sweet. And the chocolate, it's very creamy. Is it chocolate? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's good. I eat the chocolate chip cookie dough again. Now the chocolate chip cookie dough is not quite as creamy, but I think it's because there's cookie dough in it. And that's what that one looks like. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Honestly, I got some big pieces. I probably didn't need to get them that big, but whatever. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in Louisa Jane. They have some such good stuff. I can't wait to go back and get more stuff, but let me show you guys what I got in the first bag. Oh no, my battery's dying. Oh. Okay, I might have to show you guys when I get back. I'll just I'll show you guys right when I get home. I promise. Uh, I'm gonna head home now so I can change my battery. Okay, I just walked in. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in these two bags so you guys can get a good idea of what I picked up. Today. Okay, I've been really excited to show you guys this stuff all day. I already showed you guys what I got in this little bag. Um, so now I'm gonna show you guys what's in the big bag. Before I show it to you guys, Guys, like I, this is like not sponsored or anything. Like literally, I just freaking loved that store. I was in there for like hours and I just got talking to the, uh, not the owner, but like the person who manages the place. And like, you can tell that they like have a passion for what they do, which I love. Um, but <laughs> they went and showed me, they have like a secondary space for people, like if they want to renovate stuff. And like, I'll insert some clips so you guys can kind of see like what it looked like. but. It was so cool, like so pretty much you can set up like a consultation with them and walk through their space and like pick out different tiles, like you can pick out like countertops, like you can pick out pretty much anything that you want to like customize your own home. And then they like give you a 3D like 
pretty much viewing of your future home what it would look like with those pieces like on their computer so they have like this program that like creates it so i don't know it was just like so cool and all their pieces are so unique like some of those mirrors like i don't know if you guys remember there was a mirror in the upstairs like bedroom area there was, it was huge and it was like $600. And that's like so inexpensive compared to like Restoration Hardware or Arhas. Like, I mean, some of their pieces were massive. Like that mirror I showed you guys that was sold out that I really wanted was like 290, I think. And that mirror is huge and like super heavy. And like, they just have really good prices, I think, on stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I ended up spending like roughly $140. Um, but I got these two bags here. I'll show you um, this one first. Um, okay, so I got this, which I showed this to you guys. It is a cactus. This was actually the most expensive thing that I picked up. Everything else was like pretty inexpensive. And this one was uh, $38.50. And it looks like a real cactus. And I just wanted more... Um, like plants i mean if, if you look at it really close i'm gonna try to show you guys so it'll focus this looks like real dirt like does it not like isn't that crazy and then this just like looks real it looks like it's gonna poke you like it just they did a really good job at making this look real like look at that right there like does that not look like real sand like it looks like it's all about to fall out and like they put sand like on the outside here so that way it almost looks like it's real like it's like kind of falling out um i don't know i just really really like this so i had to bring it home um and then i ended up picking up this now these are really cool i think this was the most inexpensive thing that i got and there are these coasters. These are $17 and they are like a true marble and gold. Um, obviously not like real gold, but like the marble, it's like super heavy. Um, this is what it looks like up close. There's like gold on the outside, but when you tilt it this way, you can't really see the gold as much. Um, it almost like, obviously like light is kind of coming on this right now, but like just when you look at it, um, like in person, the gold isn't as prominent. So it's like really cool, very heavy. We need some more coasters. Right now we have some with Bane's face on them, which I think are super cute, but we like broke one or two of them. And so I just need to get like a couple more to kind of add to our little coasters. And then that's the first bag. And like, I literally could have been in there for hours. Like that's definitely one of my favorite stores for sure. Um, the next thing that I got is, I showed this to you guys in there, um, I got some pompous grass. I only got one and these, this was $8 for like one bunch, but there's multiple like pretty much ties like on there. So like there's three stems, but it's like one bunch for $8. Um, they like look like they're real, like stuff falls off, like it's, they look like it's real and that's. What I really love about their stuff because it looks very like real. Um, this one is a vase and it was $20. Um, and I plan to like put this in here and just kind of like put it out around the house. Um, this is not fake or this is not real. It's obviously faux, but like when you touch it, it almost feels real. It feels like it's gonna like be prickly or something. So I really like this. I don't know where I'm gonna put this stuff honestly, but I just wanted to add more like pieces of decoration around the house i feel like some areas are more scarce than others so um i wanted that and then the last thing um that i got is well not the last thing the last like set so i got these and these are 650 a piece um and these look so real like i mean look at that i'm gonna try to get it to focus on there so you guys can like get a better idea but like, look at that. Like the color of it is just really nice. Um, it's not too green. I really like things that are not like super green. Like I picked up some plants that I just like didn't really care for because they were too green. And then the other thing that I got was this vase, which this was $15. Like I, I can't get over how like nice this stuff is. Like this is, um, it almost feels like sand or something is on the outside and then this feels like a concrete it's really nice very large this is like my head so it's like a pretty good size um 
and I plan on putting this in here and then putting this somewhere around the house. I'm not quite sure where, but all of this stuff, um, I think is just gonna look really good together. So that's kind of the vibe. I got this, this, lots of like fake plants, but they do a really good job of creating those. Um, and then the coasters. So I think it's a nice little like haul. Um, I will link their website below, but I don't think that they have a ton of stuff online just yet. Um, but like they also give you this little like pamphlet thing that shows you, like I'm like obviously obsessed guys. Um, they show you like the design center, which you guys saw, the studio, which is um, where you can like buy everything. And then this is the other building that has like all of the pieces that you can pick out if you want to um, have them like decorate your house. I for sure plan on having them decorate like one day. I don't know when, but like just the whole store was like, I could totally live there. Like I was in heaven. So um, yeah, really excited that I got all of these. I'm gonna put them up around the house. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you guys will see me put up all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end it here because Brady and I are gonna go to dinner. Um, I'm not gonna vlog it just so that we can spend some like intentional time together. I think it'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video on, I think it will be on Saturday. <laughs> Bye guys.